Hi, welcome back to the show. I'm Jenny Groh. In our last segment, we had a Karen Terrier on from the Humane Society of St. Lucie County. And in this segment here, we have Linda Bagley, who is with Colonel Potter Karen Rescue Network. I know that the Humane Society works with your group quite a bit just to get Karen Terriers placed in homes, is that right? That's correct. Um, sometimes Karen Terriers may be hard to place, they're a breed specific and not too many people know about them. Okay. So we've developed a Karen Terrier rescue and we place Karens in foster homes when we when they're given to us by say the Humane Society. Mm -hmm. um, I have gone and picked up several three or four Karens down there. Mm -hmm. If someone doesn't come in and adopt them they know that we can get them a good home so we'll help with that. That's great. Yeah, uh, We are a national group. We're all across the United States and some parts of Canada. Mm -hmm. We have no building. Right. Uh, we work over the internet. There's over 600 of us all across the United States and Canada. Okay. Um, what we do is when we get a rescue either from a puppy mill, a shelter, or a owner surrender, we immediately place them in a foster home. Presently we have a hundred and twenty approximately 120 foster homes all across the United States oh and Canada. Okay. And so when a, a dog comes in, um, we give them a medical where we take them to the vets if there is something that they need, shots, spay, neuter, um, if they have something, a condition, we will treat it. We've had several dogs came in, come in heartworm positive. Mm -hmm. In fact, this past few months we've had approximately eight or nine dogs oh, heartworm positive. We don't turn a dog away. Okay. The reason why we can treat them is because no paid personnel. So all of the money that we receive through donations or right. through promotions right. goes just for the dog, for the medical. Gosh, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. That's a lot of work, though. You said how many volunteers? About? There is over 600 volunteers, um, foster homes included. Everyone has a little bit to do. Um, when a dog comes in, the, it's recorded in a database. Um, foster home director will put it in a foster home. Okay. Uh, I am also a foster mentor for the states of North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Virginia. A mentor, so, what does that mean? That means anyone that has a foster in their home in those states, okay. I assist them with any questions that they have. Oh, okay. If the dog needs to go to the vets, I, I have been supplied with a credit card okay. that pays for the dog's vet. Um, if, you know, just a contact person if they have any questions or something comes up with the dog. Okay. I'm there for them. Um, this is Gracie, Gracie, by the way. Obviously, yeah. she's a product of your group here. <laughs> yes. Gracie came from South Carolina. She was a puppy mill rescue. She was born in a puppy mill. Mm -hmm. She's approximately two years old. Um, she came to me to foster, and apparently I flunked, <laughs> um, which, is, which is okay. We love foster flunkies. Absolutely. And Absolutely. we encourage people, if, if you've ever considered fostering a dog, mm -hmm. you may want to contact our organization. Okay. It's, it's, I, I know a lot of people ask me the same question, well, what is it going to cost me? really doesn't cost you that much. Right. Just put some food down for the dog sure, and, and sure. have the dog there and teach the dog how it is to live in a home. Right. Just get them acclimated and right. trained to a degree. We find that most dogs come back to shelters, well, main thing, he's not trained, he right. tore up my house. So right. this is our job. This right. is our job to train the dog so okay. that they can live with the family and the family can be happy with the dog. Okay. How did you get involved with this group? Um, we, we used to have very large dogs and we decided as we became older <laughs> that the large dogs were too much for us. So lot. Yeah, uh -huh. it is. I, after I got knocked down a couple times. <laughs> um, so we, we were looking for a, a smaller dog with a big dog personality. Okay. And that's these little guys okay. here. And they love to play. They love to run. I'm fortunate. I have a fenced-in backyard. We always nice. recommend fenced-in backyards. Absolutely. They, um, so we, we searched online and we found a, a puppy, Karen Terrier. Um, then we decided, well, we want to add another one. Mm -hmm. But we wanted a rescue, too. Okay. So we, con we looked online, we, con right. we saw Colonel Potter, we contacted them, and they were so helpful. That's great. They have everything from matchmakers to blanket <laughs> aunties to you name it. They're there for oh, you. Wow. So I, I just recently had a um, little puppy mill girl. She was six years old that came in from South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And um, I fostered her. She went to a wonderful family That's so up nice. in Titusville. 
her, her daddy works for NASA. Wow. So, yeah, so some of these dogs get, they go from puppy mill yeah. to, you know, high cotton. Moving on up. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's wonderful. Why Karen Terrier? Why, why was that? I know what you said, but there's just, there's obviously a lot of fans of this particular breed out there. Um, there is. Um, if, if you go on Facebook, there's Karen Terrier Lovers, there's Karen <laughs> Terriers Unite. Um, we, of course, are just the rescue part of that. Right. Um, what I, I, I guess I can, can only explain it. Once you ha um, have this breed, and we always say you it's can't just have one. They're yeah. like potato chips. you got to have another one. <laughs> um, I have four. Okay. They're no problem to right. me. They all get along. Yeah, they don't take up a lot of space, do no, they? No, <laughs> no. Um, they range from anywhere 12 pounds to maybe 18 to 20 pounds. Okay. So they're not a very Different big dog. colors? Absolutely. Okay. We have all kinds of colors. Reds, Wheatons, Black. We have um, gray Karen Terriers. Okay. We have Brindles. Okay. So there's... And there's it's the Toto dog, right? Absolutely, Toto. yeah. Okay. From uh, okay. Wizard of Oz, yeah. which I was always a big fan okay. of, too. Okay, well, there you go. Well, yeah. you got your Toto. You got a couple Totos at your house Yeah, now. a few. <laughs> what is the contact information if anybody wants to be a part of it, volunteer, foster? They can go online and go to KarenRescue.com. It's C-A-I-R-N-R-E-S-C-U-E.com. Okay. And it should come up to Colonel Potter. Okay. Uh, but if anybody has a problem with it, they can always contact me at 772-528-5518. Okay. Wonderful. What else can you tell us about this group? Um, I, I, I can't <laughs> I know say. I you could talk all day. Yes, all I, day. I'm passionate about <laughs> it. And you question. know what? It's, it's amazing. And, and I make so many friends that say, oh, you have a Karen Terrier? I have one too. And it's like, right. yeah, it's. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, it is. They're just a neat little dog. Yeah. They really are. She's as cute as she can be. <laughs> yeah, we're we're kind of thinking Gracie, and, and that's something I'd like to bring up. Gracie may have a little bit of Westie in her. Okay. We take care and terrier mixes too. Okay. So, okay. Um, like I said before, I have seen um, dogs come in being hit by a car, um, and and a lot of shelters can't afford right. the medical bills of that. Right. We do a lot of fundraisers okay. um, You're online. Great. You're a great resource for groups like the Humane Society to call on with something Absolutely. like that. That's wonderful. I'm in the, I'm in the process of trying to do dining for dollars out there at Longhorn, mm -hmm. so that we'll raise some money for Karen Terriers. Gotcha. Um, and, uh, w you know, we just do several things online. Right now we're in the middle of a fundraiser called Lynch Creek Farms, mm -hmm. so that if um, you're looking for a wreath or a centerpiece for okay. the holidays, either right. um, for October and November okay. or December, okay. There perfect you go. place to, to, to buy something okay. and then they donate back to our group. Okay, great. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much. And oh, give, us that, give us the um, website address and also the phone okay. number one more time. It is KarenRescue.com, C-A-I-R-N-R-E-S-C-U-E.com, and the, the my phone number, number is 772-871. Okay. No, I'm giving a wrong number. That's it's okay. A, you know, my cell phone number, 772-528-5518. Okay. And anybody interested in fostering, we'd love okay. to have more foster Perfect. homes. Well, we're so grateful for groups like yours. Again, just to take some of the, the load, if you will, off of, off of the Humane Society. David Lynch from that group was on earlier, and he said they're at capacity. Yeah, the we time. realize that so, there's just so much room for them, and, and in, our, in our rescue, right. we have homes. Yeah, that's wonderful. That's a great, you know, that's a great relationship that you all have. So, you girls, thank you so much for being here. Linda well, Bagley. Thank you for having us Absolutely. so we can spread the word about Karen Terriers. Absolutely. Okay, so Gracie and Linda Bagley from Colonel Potter Karen Rescue Network. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And good luck to you. Thanks. And we'll be right back after these messages.